Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. Today is a big day. We are actually moving in pretty much and gonna spend the night in our new home for the first time. Now we've kind of been slowly moving in and in one of my previous videos, I showed you kind of the first two days of what I brought to make life a little bit easier. We have since brought just a little bit more. We brought uh, Jack's crib and set that up in our master bedroom. We also have been working on epoxying the garage. So that is drying and curing right now. And today I brought some cushions to Aub for Aubrey to sleep on or for me to rest on today while we're awaiting our couch to be delivered. Tonight Juan is going to bring Aubrey's bed and my like lounge chair that I've been sleeping in postpartum. And we're getting our fridge today. So there is a lot going on. And to make matters more stressful, I have a cold. Yesterday, I wanna say I felt worse, so I, it's hopeful that I'm on the mend, but I definitely am lacking some energy. And with the two kids here by myself, awaiting people to do shutters and all this other stuff, I'm just, I'm feeling overwhelmed, but at the same time, I have a sense of peace that I wasn't expecting. So I'm thankful for that, but I'm still like, in my ang anxious ways, I guess. So in this video, I'm just gonna kind of share how our moving in process goes and let you guys kind of see the progress and you know how much gets actually done in a certain matter of time. And then in upcoming videos, I'm gonna share how I plan on preparing my kitchen to like organize it and move it in. And then we'll probably do some reorganization videos coming up because it's just a matter of like, let's just get things in place and then we can make it pretty. So yeah, I'm so excited to bring you guys along and I hope you enjoy this video. Well, we have this situation. <laughs> Definitely not fun. What do you see? Where? <laughs> Where? <Like> the couches? <laughs> this wasn't here before you went to Day Day. <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? Who brought that here? Pe workers brought that here. Good choice strangers brought that here. Do you love it? <laughs> 
this is our new couch. And look, we have a new refrigerator. Where's the TV? They left. Bobby, look, we have a new refrigerator too. Uh, but where's the TV on here? <laughs> we don't have a TV yet. Not yet. We will get a TV though. Well, good morning guys. I'm wearing my same cozy sweater, but it is a new day. My brother-in-law and brothers and dad and Juan moved in half of our stuff already. It's overwhelming to me. Uh, just trying to figure out like how I'm gonna organize this house with a baby, but I know I'm gonna get it done. My mother-in-law is gonna be here and helping me like take care of Jack so that I can start organizing, but still it is overwhelming. Juan also tested out like the Costco delivery and uh, we got some food delivered. So I'm gonna be making some pizzas to feed the helpers. And right now Jack is down for a little nap. So I'm trying to use my time wisely and just really try to be productive, trying to find even just the smallest thing and put it in its place and I can make it look pretty later. You hurt me a dick several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different I find it hard to commit But you don't even try Still I'm better with and without you Oh, I, I'm on it, I want it But do you see the color? Okay, so we are expecting them with the rest of our stuff any minute now I just finished making some Costco pizzas in the oven and I have no oven mitts so it was a struggle getting it out with like the cardboard and a towel. And now I'm cutting the pizza with a plastic knife. I'm making do with what I've got, but I'm a little stressed, I'm a little overwhelmed. I know I have a ton of kitchen stuff back here and just trying to figure out where it's all gonna go is a little overwhelming for me because I just, I really want it to flow nicely in here. So, I will keep you guys updated on my little tips and tricks for planning it out to make the move into the cupboards a lot easier in a later video. But yeah, this is what it's like so far and we're gonna get a whole lot more stuff in here any minute now. Okay guys, I'm just checking in. It is six o'clock in the evening and I just got done going to mass for the first time at our new parish, which is like a mile, mile and a half away from our home. And it was really cute. It's a nice little quaint like church and they project like what our responses are up on the screens, which I think will be nice. Like with Aubrey and Jack growing up, they'll be able to see those words and see the words to the songs and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't have a little cry room, so I'll have to make do with the space that they have in case Jack cries when I do bring him to church. But right now he and Aubrey and Juan are at home with my mother-in-law, um, just kind of still working at unpacking and getting things settled and the kids were napping so so far it's it's worked out but I'm about to head back we're probably going to eat something and I've only unpacked like a few boxes I feel so overwhelmed I think I'm overwhelmed mainly because I wasn't the one who packed these boxes it was Juan and he just you know he did it very quickly and efficiently but not everything's like maybe labeled as I would have done it and then um, just moving it back and forth to storage and all that stuff, it kind of 
you know, spread boxes out from like kitchen supplies are all over the place. And, and I typically like to unpack the really big stuff. And I like to put up decorations. Like one of the first things I do is I put up the decorations. I put the beds and the, like the big furniture in place. And then I open the boxes with littler things and just kind of find their place in the house. But that's not really how it's going right now. Some of our furniture is just kind of spread all over. And then I have a bunch of boxes with random stuff and not always like a place to put it. So it's going to take me some time, unfortunately. But, you know, it's I thankfully I get to stay at home and I can work on this throughout the week and hopefully make it feel like home soon. And I also realize like it doesn't have to be perfect. I can always reorganize stuff and I'm sure, you know, some of you guys would like to see that. So, you know, it, it's, I just got to get everything in a place <laughs> and then we'll survive. So I'll go ahead and check in at the end of the night and kind of show you guys what our house looks like and, you know, how much more we actually have to get done. Okay, guys, I am exhausted. We got our bed set up. I lined our pantry with some like clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree. And it's not sticking very great. So I'm hoping that, you know, it'll hold out for as long as we really need it until I figure out something else or give the pantry a makeover or whatever. But I just shoved like all of our food in there to kind of clear up counter space and I was waiting to put the food in there until I did the contact paper. So got that out of the way. Now we have a little bit more counter space to work with to like organize stuff, but we still have tons of stuff to do. I'm going to wrap up this video here and maybe film a little bit more of like what we get done, but you know, I'll definitely show you guys what this place looks like once we are unpacked. So yeah, I might do another video of like still unpacking in the process, but for sure I will show you guys obviously when our house is done. But Jack has been asleep for about an hour and I still gotta pray my rosary for the night. So I'm gonna go and sign out here. Don't forget to like this video if you guys enjoyed it or if you just want to support me. And if you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and see my new home once it's all kind of put together and uh, maybe see just the amount of stuff that we end up just giving away because it, there's just not space for it. So thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.